Master Yen Ching, Master Yun Li, you're teaching rocks! Uh, shame my body can't keep up with my brain. Not bad. You've made it this far. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. Yeah, I'll show Scott the power of the Sienjo swordplay that he despises. I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. Well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. But I'm curious. Why pick Arum Alley of all places? It's packed with tourists around, and it'd be bad if someone got hurt. Why Arum Alley? Well, your buddy knows the answer to that. I can't deny it. That fateful day left a mark on me. That's why I chose this place. I want to show all those people who laughed at me that I can stand on my own two feet again. They'll be like, what? That Scott is back again? What's he got up to this time? They'll see that I, Scott, who was once shamed in front of everyone, is back in our room alley to restore his honor! They'll see that it won't be me squealing like a pig today, but you! Yeah, if that's all a villain did in an immersia, I'd definitely be asking for a refund. Ah! Shut up! Look, I have my principles. I refuse to spend my life haunted by what happened in Our Room Alley. Do you think I'm just some sort of IPC small fry? I've been patient for so long, just waiting for the right moment. I don't care about proving my greatness. It's about showing everyone in Our Room Alley that I will reclaim what was taken from me! Instead of resorting to such despicable methods. <sighs> I've been keeping an eye on you. Seriously, do you really believe that you, a rookie who's only been learning swordplay for 15 days, can defeat my invincible mechs? Dream on! Enough with the talk. Let's get down to business, boys. Huh. Once you bite the dust, You'll know what I'm capable of. Yeah! <laughs> 
How? How did you all lose to that rookie? Hey, stop blaming others. Didn't you lose to me too? So, does that mean I I have to No way! This can't be happening! How could a tiny piece of scrap metal defeat the IPC's mechs? You guys must have cheated! This doesn't count! I demand a rematch! Scrap metal, huh? The key to victory is never the weapon. It's the person wielding it! Yeah, let's not forget our bet! Enough! Fine. I've done this before anyway. I apologize. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. Don't forget the squealing! Make him squeal! Make him squeal! Uh, hold on a sec! I want to get this on video! It's happening all over again. All right! But before I squeal like a pig, there's something else I want to say! IPC mechs are a total joke! Oink! Oink, oink! Oink. Oink, oink. Oink. Cheeky! Now you're being sarcastic with me, huh? <laughs> what are you writing, March? I'm writing a letter to the Astral Express. It's been a while, and I thought I should let them know that I'm safe and sound here. You know that poem from the Sienjo, right? We like March. Her shoes are purple. She is new and high. March, I don't think that poem is about you. Huh? Writing a letter just to let the crew know you're doing all right? Do you guys not have phones? That lacks a sense of propriety. I'm not just writing a letter. I'm writing a handwritten letter. I've got to show them I'm really on the Sienjo. You should also tell them about our glorious victory. Give work to watch you write a letter. Come on, let's play Celestial Jade together. Hurry up, hurry up! Just give me a sec. I'll play with you once I'm done. Uh, dear Himeko, Mr. Yang, and Pom Pom, we're all good here on the Sienjo Lafu, so no need to worry. By the way, how's your trip going? <laughs> 